Lady. Someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Bet I can guess her symptoms. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You <laughs> jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. She cursed, yeah. How, how do you know? What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort yeah, to trickery. Yeah, there may be another reason for that, buddy. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, Creepy I too stalker. Emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several Creepy ensuing stalker. occasions to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk. That she's wont to suddenly disappear. Wraith? Nothing unusual about any of that. Seems a Tell stretch. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then? See, I'm not a participant. Yup. Oh, yes. Solution already. You should take my place in the list yes. and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Tell me more about this tourney. This tourney? How's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, <laughs> and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. How long do you have to wait before you become a lady? You also want to know? The lady in waiting. Another bird. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Tourney. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. 
Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Target practice. Marksmanship. I feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. It's always going to be good to practice at least a the little bit. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Ooh. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Okay, let's make sure to read up. So I'm doing these because I, I need to know whether there's any special rules. Vien uh, the Tabiz was Anna Heinrich's lady in waiting. She was a tight lipped, secretive, inaccessible person, but a beauty fascinated men. He also proved this when he took a contract from Guillaume, who was in love with her and suspected she might be afflicted with a curse. Hmm, okay. Lady's a big word. She's a lady. Don't you know? Hit the red targets. That wasn't hard. Once more. Be glad to do some shooting. Glad they give it another try. This is all I have to do. That'll be easy. Once more. Oh, I'm surprised you want people to go to the bathrooms. Yeah, the ladies, the gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, that's enough. Done enough shooting. Where to now? Well, but if then again, ladies, course, gentlemen, and bastards you, is in a category. The race course ahead of all else. All right, horsemanship trade. Let's do it. Let's do some riding. Rachel like that. <laughs> Excellent idea. That would be great, Maiden. It says ladies. Really now. Look at yourself. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, Game then time. finishes again in the time arena. Trial. The training okay. track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Lady, with that voice, you should not be shouting. Oh yeah, that's... I'm suddenly trying to check. See, I can make one of these. Can make several of these, as it turns out. Fellas, I am not interested in this nonsense. Come on. Can I not make, like, bunches of these? You know what? Let's just make one more. Because as you know... There we go. Sorry for that sudden jump, but... I was thinking suddenly that this is something we could still do. Look at that. Each point of toxicity deals damage dealt by swords and side intensity. Might be good. Ah, look at this. We now unlocked an extra ability slot. Cool. Ideally, I'd want this one. Applying critical effects to opponents activates a random decoction. How good is that? So we need Bloodbath and Euphoria. So we do need to go into this one because this one requires Deadly Counter. That's going to cost uh, so many skill points. One thing is though, I should have now unlocked an extra slot, right? Ability slots unlocked one. 
to be one of these. It should be that one. Yeah, I can have only one active. Oh! Thanks to Stank's Sip, you have an extra ability slot. The color of the ability you activate must match the color of the active mutation. Acquire multiple types of mutants, but allow you to use abilities from any of the groups. Ah, that's how that works. Okay, that's the point of it. Okay, so either more damage dealt by swords. No, this one. I like that one. So now I can use an additional, but that's tricky. Need to activate the mutation, yeah. Because slot you get depends on the mutation, okay. So this is interesting then. Because of the one I want, the one where critical effects does stuff, then this one would be a good one to have. If your toxicity above zero, each kill opponent increases the critical hit chance. Which means it gets more and more likely that that happens. I think... Wait, how many skills do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have them all. So side effect is nice. I like that. Or slow time might be fun. Here's the thing though, this is gonna take so many skill points to get. See, I need two for that, and I'm assuming that it's gonna be what, two for each? I don't know. Wow. Crossbows become insane with that. But this one's so good. Free decoctions. Okay, um, for now, I kind of like this one. You know what? I'm going to do it. Who cares? I can respec anyway. What? Where did I? Oh god, no, no, no. Which did I now deselect? There we go. We'll get that one in there. Upgrade it. Look at that. 80% chance, which will eventually become, of course, 100% chance. So anytime I use a potion, I always get another potion now. Cool. Okay, let's uh, let's just work from here for a second. Monsters, wild cats, bandits, trample all for I come. Just free extra potions. I'm thinking. Who knows, you know, it may not be that good of what I get, but it's a free effect. Don't know how many other green ones are good. All though. is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time ah. you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough. Yet I've seen many a night I'm upset of another potion. Unfortunately, the other potion is white honey. <laughs> that would be the terrible. Race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Okay. Hold down attack button will trigger slow motion. Yeah, I know that one. Hold on the aim button will trigger slow motion mode. Yeah, so you didn't need to hold for the gallop. Okay, that's good. Okay, so where are these targets and how do I catch them? Oh wait, did I not hit that one? Okay, targets are marked. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. Extra time added. That's how that works. Okay. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. And then I need to... Come on now. He does not he does not automatically keep pace. That is a lie. Look at that, he just slows down. Okay, so that's how that works. Did I not pass one of the checkpoints? I'm not leaving the racetrack. Enough, or do you wish to ride again? Let's try that again. Yeah, that is a weird quest to do at night time. Although, you know, Vane, if you think about it, practicing for something I have to do would be best sort of outside, you know, out of view. <coughs> Wait, was that Rotro Geralt? Oh, that was a that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Wait, oh god, I missed that one as well. Yikes, that is not going to be good. That is not going to be good. Okay, there we go. I need to make sure to hit that. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Carol, run, you fool. Fly, you fool. There we go. There we go. Four checkpoints. No problem. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. I can set out more the dummies. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Combat trading. Be nice to swing. Do some footwork. Work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights Halberd in hand. Come with me. Whoa, buddy. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best. But now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Well now, buddy. Puppy love. Oh my god, she's annoying. Buddy, make haste. Come on. Run, 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 run. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. It is right and fitting. With I will stand and fight, but be warned, I do nothing halfway. <laughs> well, you know. We swash, we swash. <laughs> wow, okay. You are quite the fighter, sir. Uh, strike. Attack. Attack. Indeed, so good, sir. Now, look at all those effects that I'm putting on him. Basically, every time that would happen, I would get a free decoction. Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Nah. Practice this enough. I know how to do this. I think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the Hopefully simplest Deadlock kills him next. Oh more yeah, skill this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. <laughs> 
If only signs of one of the virtues. Ooh, burn, Vanen. Nice. My screws must be in order. I have been vaccinated and spaded. Nuded and spaded. She has basically become just the Grouch. Just just Oscar the Grouch. Look at that. Let's see you use force powers while dueling the Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, yes. Good sir, scribe. Ooh, loot. Loot, loot. The International Knights Tourney and the depatronage of Lady Vivian de Tepri, 1275. Participants registered and qualified to take part in the contest. Gregory the Gorgon. Last winners of last year's tourney, you shall not participate in a general competition, but shall fight in the final bout against a knight who earns most points. Joining us for the third time in a row. Hmm. Yada yada yada. First time in the tourney. Due to injury, Giam has transferred his place in the tourney to another knight. Yes, indeed. Good sir. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's Wait, what? not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Yeah, let's let's find out about the two. Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, That's a, cool crest. a member of the Witch's Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Mm. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross <laughs> the river. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. What? Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess oh, Vanda, yes, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra. Oh, yeah, now I remember. That's an early story. That's actually right. You know what? I'll be my... I build myself. Seraphix of Fourhorn is cool, but I'll be myself. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation we in We could use it in our house. You may take it yes. as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case... Thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. 
There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with boats or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a I, duel I know dentist. last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Awesome. Convenient. Uh, I think so, Venon, yeah. Gonna come right out yeah, we're it. probably Gonna ending it after this prizes. explanation. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has Good the, for the best mantle. result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged Ooh. especially for this occasion hello, by hello, the hello. Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nasser. What's about the vows? You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. That's gonna be interesting. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know the about the again. Tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Oh, God. The heron, my lady's love, her high... <laughs> Her illustrious highness's garter. Well, hello. God, oh, God. This would be hilarious. I'll swear on her illustrious highness's garters. On the heron or on my lady's love? I shall swear on my lady's love. Courtly. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg. To respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please. Then fill out sucker these or sucker. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tournament. Skabarmal. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Gwent. Maybe we can turn the Gwent quality, uh, the difficulty down to like easy. Just do that one for the trophy if I can put it in the house. Okay, that actually, that looks kind of cool. May the gods sucker you. Exactly, made it. Sucker punch him. Red, white, and rose. Geralt. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Okay, this looks kind of awesome. Geralt in full armor. I will punch you in the mouth, kid. Okay. This is, though, a good point to uh, leave it. So, quick save and hard save. This is going to be a good point to leave for the day. Hi, kitty. Indy has also let me know that it is getting late and it is time. There we go. Sorry. It is time to start resting so that I can join the workforce tomorrow. So thank you very much for joining in. Next week is uh, definitely going to be tournament moment. Uh, I think on Wednesday and Thursday we'll be back. That is uh, going to be Half-Life time. Half-Life 2. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and put a list up just for all these games that, that I had it on literally a little bit of a notebook and that no, this notepad is starting to get just sloppier and bigger and just everything's getting messed up. So I wanted nicely on a list somewhere.